I've been on this project for seven years, so it's a you know, very emotional moment for me because I've seen this baby growing for the last seven years. And it's also a very historical moment for Bella because we are changing something that has been in the market since decades. Colistum Perfect is the most used color in the world, and we have decided to change it after many, many years in the market. And I think it's also a milestone for the industry because you will hear we are changing something that has been around for more than 100 years. 100 years. Yes, so seven years ago we sat together and we were like, okay, let's make Holiston perfect, even more perfect. Uh, it's love, everybody loves it, and there is a reason why it's called perfect, because everybody believes that it's perfect, so what can we do there? Yes, colors are perfect, but uh, permanent colors are not 100% perfect. And stylists are doing a lot of things to make the results perfect, despite the products are not 100% perfect. And why that? Colors are great at the roots. Permanent color, when I applied at the roots, they are perfect. But in the ends, especially if clients have damaged hair, very, very processed, or processed there, things can go a little bit wrong. Uh, you might see sometimes people walking in the street with like a greenish tinge at the end. <laughs> Uh, or you know, people with dark hair that get very, very dark at the ends. And this is one of the problems of permanent colors. So we wanted to make sure that this is not happening anymore and have a color that is more reliable from root to tip. So being a perfect color here, but being a perfect color everywhere. So people are more happy with their color results. And we were studying what's wrong in these ends across the world um, and with permanent color. And what we found out is that the, the hair are full of metals, okay? Um, there are copper, iron, manganese, lots of stuff. Uh, which is good, because basically our body is using the hair to remove some of the things that we have inside our body. And metals are part of those. And if the ends are very uh, porous, when you wash your hair, you get a lot of stuff from the water. Uh, now those metals have no problems, but we have discovered that when you use a permanent color, the peroxide in the permanent color, sorry for all the science stuff, okay, I'm just laughing, uh, meets those molecules of metals and creates free radicals. Free radicals, bad stuff. Bad stuff in beauty, you know, we try to find free radicals for skincare because they create wrinkles, and you know, whenever there is free radicals, it's something bad. And why free radicals are bad for color? Because they screw up how the color is formed. So sometimes when you know you try to get I don't know a, a blonde at the roots, uh, because of free radicals there isn't much color deposit at the ends. Or sometimes in dark color there is a lot of deposit because they make the reaction much much faster. So we decided to fight those fact those free radicals like you know in skin care uh, people are fighting the free radicals. And by fighting free radicals we are able to create a color that is more even from root to tip. Um, how did we do it? Um, we basically, as I said, there are all those metals in the hair. Uh, now, we created a technology which is called Pure Balance Technology, uh, which acts like a Pac-Man, okay, and finds all those metals around the hair, and goes around the hair, but the, those metals stop the metals, and when the color meets the metals, it's not creating the free radical anymore. And by doing that, you basically have much uh, more balanced color from the beauty. I have a very, very little demo, and I asked Pamela to come here uh, to show you what can happen. So basically, uh, those are human hair, um, and uh, you know, three different colors. We use here very, very simple color, a red, a blue, and then we mix the red and blue together, you get something that is violet. Okay, this is what's happening on virgin hair. Now, if you have hair that are very, very damaged, and with a lot of those metals, so you know, the ends of the hair, Believe it or not, and the stylists know it, sometimes the color doesn't form because the free radicals make the reaction much, much slower. So instead of having this nice reddish pinkish, you almost have no color. Or sometimes they make reaction much faster, so just the opposite of this one. And instead of the, getting this color, you get something that is very, very dark. And then, you know, stylists are mixing the colors together. If they mix the color, actually, instead of getting a violet after this one, uh, out of those two colors, they basically get something that is bleh. Um, and this is what free radicals are doing. And that's why stylists, you know, at the basin after the service are doing all the tricks to basically correct those stuff. Um, 
So I'll show it to you now on the same hair, so the one that are full of metals, what's happening if we put the pure balance technology. Uh, so this is exactly the same hair. It's three times the same color. And if you can see with the pure balance, the red stays red, the blue stays blue. And if you mix the color, you get the reliable color. So basically, that's the start. You know, we, we try to make the color even more perfect. Thanks, Pamela. Uh, and we made something that is much more reliable, much more balanced, so that studies can create even more beautiful results because things are much more, uh, much nicer, and they create, you know, great looks. And you will see some of the stuff uh, later on. Uh, but that's only the start. You know, seven years ago we were looking. Okay, we create something that is better. Uh, so we want people really to be addicted to color. Uh, but what's the problem today? Why people are deciding not to color as often? And especially on permanent color, why they don't want to change as often? Because the number one reason why people stop coloring hair or color less often is the fear of damage. Uh, people know that if you use a permanent color over and over again, uh, the hair are getting damaged. And they get more damaged, so you start getting frizzy hair, broken ends, and all that stuff. Um, so we wanted that you know, when you go out of the salon you get better color, but you want to get more of that color and color after color you want to be with less of this fear of damage. Uh, so we decided, number two, we want to fight the damage color after color. And, what's going on? <laughs> and actually, <laughs> and actually you know, we were studying what is happening there and the free radicals, as they are bad for the skin, they are also bad for the hair. Because color after color, all those free radicals that are happening when you color the hair are actually breaking the bonds inside the hair. The hair are created by little keratin fibers and they are kept together by keratin. And the free radicals attack this keratin and they are breaking the keratin and then you get damaged color after color. Now this pure balance technology, as it's stopping those free radicals, it's actually reducing the free radicals that are attacking the hair. So color after color, you get less damage. So we really try to do something where you get better color today and you have less fear of changing and getting more color uh, over time because color after color, you will get less damage. Um, but that's not enough. Uh, because we really wanted to make a change in the industry with this one. You know, we wanted to have something that is great today it is great color after color, but it's great for the rest of your life. And believe me or not, sometimes color might not be great for the rest of your life. Uh, because in the, you know, as a scientist, I know that hair color contains some of the molecules that are some of the biggest allergens in the beauty industry overall. There are two molecules that have been used for hair color since 100 years. Okay, all the color in the world, all the permanent color, they have one of those two molecules that are called PPD and PTD. Since 100 years, they never got changed. Imagine how the technology was 100 years ago. Uh, and they've been around. And all the colors in the market that provide 100% gray coverage, the leaf, the richness, over color, they have these molecules. Well, those are also the biggest allergens that are in the hair care industry. Uh, and Allergies are on the rise. You know, seven years ago when we looked at that, we were looking at a lot of the, the industries around and what's happening with allergies. You know, I'm Italian. Uh, I left Italy 20 years ago. And 20 years ago, I had, you know, almost nobody of my friend that had a problem with gluten. And if you had a problem with gluten, you had to go to the pharmacy to buy pasta. And we Italians we love pasta. <laughs> now, if I go back to Italy, I have half of my friends that are buying gluten-free pasta because allergies are increasing and getting increasing. And they're increasing allergies to food, to ingredients. People are more and more conscious trying to use less of ingredients that can create allergies. And we know that allergies could be a big, big problem for this industry for the future and for the people coloring hair. Imagine if in 20 years, the hair color allergy would be as bad as gluten or other kind of allergies that we see in the world. And this can happen because our immune systems are getting weaker and weaker. That's the reason why we're getting more allergies. So we decided after 100 years to stop using those molecules that have been around forever. 
and they are the biggest allergens in the industry. Now, it hasn't been easy, it took quite some years. Uh, actually, you know, for this product, it took seven years to develop, but for the molecule itself, we have been working on that one since more than 15 years. And we have 20 patents, more than 20 patents, actually, on the new molecule. And I call again my assistant, because uh, I want to show you a little bit how allergies are working and why uh, it's a problem. So basically, the reason why you get allergies, no matter allergies to what, is all the time the same reason. So the body has some cells, which are called the T cells. Okay, they are around in your blood and they move around. And they are there because they are the ones signaling to the body if there is a problem. Because if you have a bacteria, these T cells recognize, oh, there is a bacteria, it becomes active, and then it goes around the body and it tells the right places in your body to start your immune system. Now, the problem of hair color and any allergy is you need only one time when those T cells are getting something that is okay. It's not a bacteria, it's not a virus, but the body believes it's bad and it activates those immune systems. Okay, and then you get an allergy. And from the moment you're allergic, you will be allergic for the rest of your life. So imagine on hair color, you get hair color, you know, some of you, let's see, have great hair color. Every time you get hair color, that allergy can start. And once it's started, it will stay there forever. So you cannot color your hair anymore. Uh, so we wanted people to be healthy and to stay healthy for their lifetime. So basically, you know, these T cells, they have receptors, are called, uh, where, you know, they find the bacteria, and if the bacteria fits the receptor on this cell, it sends a signal to the body, please, danger, be careful, stop, and kill that molecule. Okay, and sometimes the T cells, they are designed, it's really like a puzzle the way they work. Uh, and sometimes they get it wrong. So they might get a molecule that is absolutely okay, gluten, pollen, whatever, but for some bodies, uh, it fits that cell. Okay, when it's fitting the cells, it starts this allergic reaction. And then you will be allergic for the rest of your life. Now, PPD and PTD, those are this is, you know, the shape of the molecule. It's really, you know, a shape like this. This molecule that is called, used to dye hair since 100 years, 100 years. And uh, this molecule is a great shape because it's small so that it can enter the hair, but it's big enough that it doesn't get out once the color is formed. So you get permanent color, 100% gray coverage, red, brown, blonde, you name it. Uh, so we like this shape. Okay, but we don't like the fact that these shapes can fit the receptors of our body. So what we have done in a quite smart way, that took a while, uh, is we basically kept the, the shape the same. So we get the right color, and we have added a little arm. Okay, so chemically this is another little piece. So you still have the molecule that creates all the coverage, intensity, and permanent hair color but basically it doesn't fit the receptors of the body anymore. Okay, and by doing this, we're gonna dramatically reduce the risk of developing a new allergy. So basically, we try to make something where allergy is a memory of the past and not a fear for people to color hair for the future. And believe me, uh, this is the biggest stuff that we could have done because People are healthy today. All people that are coloring hair and they are not allergic are healthy, and we want those people to stay healthy for the rest of their lifetime. And we don't want allergies to become a reason.